Hello guys, welcome to Ankit Sunil with today I'll tell you 20 scientific benefits of exercise and sports. Before that, whatever scientific data is provided in this video, reference is given at the description box and also at the end of this video. The first benefit of sports and exercise is it is said that trained athletes produce less amount of lactic acid. Lactic acid produces cramps and tiredness in your muscle and also the lactate threshold is higher in athletes. It improves tissue oxygenation and tissue metabolism. Sports and exercises are mode of treatment for hypertension also. Uh, hypertension means high blood pressure. The important thing to note is isotonic exercise in which muscle length keeps changing. It means work is done in that. Exercises like walking, running, jumping. These decreases sympathetic tone which results into reducing your BP. But at the same time, isometric ex exercises in which muscle length remains same means no external work is done. In that, uh, something like weightlifting, pushing the wall are harmful for hypertension patients because blood pressure remains elevated in them. So, isotonic exercises is good for hypertension and heart patients and isometric exercises are harmful for hypertension patients. It reduces the number of brain stroke and kidney diseases as it will keep your blood pressure within the normal limits. It is helpful for chronic MI, myocardial infarction patient or heart attack patients. Uh, generally, in the heart attack or myocardial infarction, this coronary arteries are blocked. So, it will improve their perfusion and it will cause new vascularization of myocardium. Means, a new vessels would be formed. Like for the blood supply of your heart muscles, if they are blocked, then uh, with the help of exercises and sports, a new vessels would be grown at the same place. It also increases cardiac reserve. Means, it will increase the ability to increase the cardiac output in the time of need. What it does is basically it maintains your heart rate but it will increase the stroke volume which will ultimately increase the cardiac output. Another benefit is it says that it reduces the bad cholesterol which is LDL and it increases your good cholesterol in your blood which is HDL. So ultimately it will reduce your cardiovascular diseases by decreasing the cholesterol, by maintaining the blood pressure. Also, it decreases the body fat mass. In this, specifically brisk walking in the early morning is said to be very very effective. Other exercises like walking, running, swimming, dancing and jogging which increases the energy expenditure is said to be very very good. It reduces the risk for metabolic disorders like diabetes and also disorders like obesity associated. It is said that exercise and sports increases the insulin receptors and promotes the glucose transporters. So people who are having diabetes and they are on insulin, for them this sports and exercise are very very beneficial because this will reduce the insulin resistance in the diabetic patients who are on insulin. Exercises stimulate osteoblastic activity. Osteoblasts are, are kind of a cell uh, in your bones which will increase bone mineral metabolism and will preserve the geometry so it's good for your bone so it will prevent osteoporosis osteoporosis is the weakening of your bone at the old age and it is also proven that if there is a immobilization or inactivity which will stimulate osteoclastic activity which will produce the bone loss so you have to keep moving keep doing exercises and sport to preserve your bone and to be strong also, exercises are also prescribed in form of treatment for osteoarthritis by many doctors and also it improves the muscle strength and joint stability. It improves autonomic balance in your body. It increases respiratory reserves. It is important in preserving life when the older fit person develops conditions like pneumonia that can rapidly require all the respiratory reserve. It is said that exercise and sports reduces the risk for cancer like breast cancers, prostate cancer, colon cancer. In endometrial and lung cancer, there are some researches which suggest but it's still it is not yet final. It slows the process of age as it promotes the physiological health. It relieves you from mental stress and produces a sense of well-being because it increases the secretion of endorphins which makes you feel better. It improves your ability to do daily activities. In old age, it prevents fall in old age because it strengthens your muscles and your ligaments and your joint stability. It is also said that exercise and sports are effective in attenuating the risk of premature deaths among men and women and overall what I can say is 
sports and exercises improves your quality of life which is recommended for everyone so medically it is proven if you want to go through numbers 35 percent lower risk of coronary heart disease and stroke 50 percent uh, lowers the risk of uh, type 2 diabetes 50 percent lowers the risk of colon cancer 20 percent lowers the risk of breast cancer 30 percent lowers the risk of early death 83 percent lowers the risk of osteoarthritis 68 percent lowers the risk of hip fracture 30 percent lowers the risk of falls 30 percent lowers the risk of depression 30 percent lowers the risk of dementia here is the reference for the content of my video you can go through you can check them out for more detail and for more videos don't forget to subscribe to my channel Ankit Sunil with Tata bye bye see you guys in my next video keep doing exercises stay fit and be healthy